We are going to do a general fast from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And this fast is a fast against accusing voices. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. When they announce fast, don't say it's for only those who are fasting and praying. It is a general thing. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. So you know that prayers are very powerful. Don't say I will pray today, I will not pray tomorrow. As long as the information keeps coming, do the prayers. Am I, here? Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. There are people who sent back-to-back -back testimonies. And as you listen to these testimonies before I tell you the prayers to do this week, hear me. Your own testimonies will come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because on Sunday, on Wednesday, I will want you to come to this place for a particular prayer that God has prepared for us. But before I give you that prayer, listen to these informations and uh, I will know that you will be the next to testify. Can we, hear this? Can we hear these testimonies? Good day, man of God, sir. I'm here to say thank you, God, for those sorts of prayers. Um, within this week, I received two job offers. And the first job I am to resume on the 29th of July. And by next week, I'm to undergo a training. And upon that training, um, there's an assessment to be assessed to see how competent and then to launch fully into the job. Then the second job I have started already yesterday. This one is a contract based job uh, to be paid on commission based. Um, to One work man giving two jobs for the company after US, prayers. Is two Yours is coming in Jesus' name. Amen. Sales of estate uh, housing. So I'm here to say thank you, God, for this opportunity. Good morning, my pastor, Pastor Mark. Thank you for everything and thank you for all the prayers. Uh, this week, I got a new job. And Glory. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough. Uh, I will not start the job until the 29th of uh, this month, this July. I will start that new job on the 29th of this month. You see, I'm so happy that uh, the yoke is now broken. And I believe that with the help of God and with your prayers, there are more blessings to come. My pastor, no amount of money is too much for me uh, uh, as a thanksgiving for this. Hello, good morning, uh, Prophet Mark. This is Mrs. Marcelina Hizokari. Thank you so very, very much. Hallelujah. God has taken control. That wicked man that was struggling, my husband's property, Jesus has defeated. Jesus has subdued him under our feet. Glory be to God. Thank you so very much. We have won the battle. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm so, so grateful. I don't know how to, to say, but I am grateful. Thank you for your prayers, for your support, for your concern. Thank you very, very much. I've been calling you, trying to tell you how far the situation has ended. Thank you very much. Pastor, I have good news. My husband's document is out. He called me this afternoon that he checked online and his document is out. Thank you, Jesus. I am so full of joy. Jesus answered it. Good morning, Pastor. Thank you. This one is coming from Juliana. I am writing to testify to the glory of God. I successfully obtained my visa to Australia. My resident permit family was also granted. Thank you for the Amen. prayers and support. God bless you richly, Pastor. Your testimony is coming likewise. Amen. This week you must testify. Amen. That job is coming. Amen. That open door is coming. Amen. That promotion is coming. Amen. That visa is coming. Amen. Whatsoever it is we have prayed about, my God will do it. Amen. This week may the enemy be put to shame. Amen. May the enemy be put to shame this week. Amen. May the enemy be put to shame this week. Amen. May the enemy be put to shame this week. Amen. May God fight our battle this week. Amen. May God fight our battle this week. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hear me. We are fasting with one scripture. Isaiah 65 verse 20. There shall be no more days an infant of days, nor an old man that had not filled his days. 
For the child shall die an hundred years. We are not talking about only physical death here. Anything that wants to kill my finance, kill my family, kill my health, kill me physically, be it accident, witches, projections. On this altar of fasting and prayer this week, we silence them. On Monday, go out of fasting. On Tuesday, go out of fasting. On Wednesday, Go out of fasting. Then Wednesday evening, we shall see here to close that fasting with communion. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes, sir. It is called the communion on life. Anyone that is watching online, in case you will not be here, when you'll be watching via YouTube or via Facebook, you will just have to set a soft drink before you and maybe a biscuit. Because as we partake of that communion on Wednesday, God will do incredible things in our lives. Sir. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. And like I will always tell you, don't close your fasting without a sacrifice. Yes, always lay a sacrifice on the altar and say, God, I am not appearing before you empty-handed. And as we fight, as we fast, God will fight for us. Amen. He will speak for us. Amen. And light will shine in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody will be listening. Pastor, no prophecy this week. The prophecy I have this week is that you will testify. Amen. When they will say that there is a casting down, my God will put you on a lifting up path. Amen. When they will say there is an evil, God will turn things to work for your good. Amen. My prophecy for you is that you will not die untimely. Amen. My prophecy for you is that you will testify shortly on this altar. Amen. My prophecy for you is that people will hear your story. Amen. My prophecy for you is that this feat is not a place that you will go to. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus that you shall be a testimony. Amen. My prophecy for you this week is that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall hey. abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. I thought you would say amen to that. Amen. You will say of the Lord, he is your refuge and he is your fortress. Amen. You will say that he is your God in him, you will you trust him. Amen. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler this way. Amen. Surely he shall deliver you from noisome pestilence. Amen. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Amen. And under his wing he shall keep you. Amen. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Amen. Thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor by a fly by day. Not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that walketh in noonday. A thousand shall fall by thy side, Amen. and ten thousand at thy right hand side. Amen. But it shall not hurt thee, Amen. it shall not come nigh thee. Amen. Only with your eyes you shall be old and see the reward of the wicked. Amen. Because that has made the Lord which is your refuge even the most high your habitation Amen. there shall no evil before thee Amen. neither shall any plague come nigh to your dwelling place Amen. for he shall give his angels charge over thee Amen. to keep thee in all thy ways Amen. they shall bear thee up in thy way, way hands Amen. lest thou shalt the feet upon the storm. Yeah, Thou shalt tread upon the lion, uh -huh. upon the adder, yeah, the young lion, yeah, and the dragon. Yeah, shall that trample all down thy feet? Yeah, because he has his love upon you. Yeah. Therefore will he deliver you. Yeah. He will set you on high. Yeah, because he, you know his name. Yeah, he, you shall call upon him. Yeah, and he will answer. Amen. He will be with you in trouble. Amen. He will deliver you. Amen. He will honor you. Amen. With long life, he shall satisfy you. Amen. And show you his salvation. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I spoke, so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.